Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of uh, Supreme Jerk difficulty. It is episode 16 and we are only at two deaths uh, so far, so things are actually looking quite good. We healed ourselves, went back uh, into Colorado Springs and now I want to trade in the quests and first of all speak with Mama Cotta who helped Mama with the stupid uh, dilemma of all of uh, the um, all of uh, the uh, refugees that's the word I was looking for we met, uh, met some refugees at the bazaar they said you hired smugglers to sneak them into Colorado Springs she scrapes at a uh, yellow t a tooth with a dirt and crusted Maybe nail so. Where are those refugees now? They're on their way here. We brought them a passage on a caravan. Alive and well, no thanks to you. The smugglers stole their money and locked them into a cell. Shit. I knew I shouldn't have trusted those assholes. But they were the only ones who'd deal with me. Guess I know why they're so flexible on their price. <laughs> I owe you for keeping those refugees safe. Ain't nobody else around here who's willing to lift a finger for him. So, uh, what's it gonna be, hmm? You know I was breaking the city's law, conspiring with smugglers and all that. You gonna haul me in? She'll be safe in the Ranger lockup. Reyes would want her in jail. He's a powerful man to have as a friend. And the Rangers could use some powerful friends. As always, Quan is on... Well, am I under arrest? Afraid so? We'll take you oh, into custody no, because no, I don't no. like what she has done. You have to go through us first. Stand down, Bobby. These are the same folks who shot up the door, seizing the Garden of the Gods. They must have killed Stenerud and his smugglers too. We don't stand a chance against them. This ain't with the lives of my boys. I'll go quietly. Copy, November one. This is Ranger HQ. What's your status? We've played, uh, placed Mama Carter on arrest, uh, sent a squad to pick her up. Old Mama Carter? A criminal? <laughs> Who would have thought? Dispatching a squad, over and out. Good, which brings us to... Raymond. I mean, we want to play. Uh, we wanted to play lawful good, right? So that is what I mentioned at the beginning, uh, meaning we can't only do good stuff. Uh, we sometimes need to do the lawful stuff as well. And to be fair, you could make a moral argument uh, that she was very much responsible for exploiting their poor situation in the first place, and a lot of people were endangered and almost died. Granted, yes, the refugees can't really go anywhere else, but there are oftentimes other solutions than that. Soon to be back. And if she really would have cared that much, then she wouldn't have earned money in the whole deal. Because if you listened to what uh, the refugees uh, G said, they were essentially helping out by chipping in with their money. Yeah, difficult uh, situation. himself a pretty blonde thing good Gideon what's it gonna to be people at the refugee camp do you have any news the smugglers were working with a woman named Namakota we arrested her thank you I'm glad this ended bloodlessly you handled an impossible situation at least this will give the city some breathing room our resources are stretched but I think we can feed the people who are already here for now Um, how about our Such reward? straightforward people. I know we'll get along now for your reward. The money is here. And you may expect the mechanics I promised you to be waiting for you when you return to your headquarters. Also, one other thing. If you help me, I'd be happy to serve the Rangers as a political advisor. Honored even. You're quite a remarkable outfit. And I'd like to help you out. Oh, nice. Thanks. We could definitely use a political advisor. Welcome on board. Excellent. Let me get some things together, then I'll head for your HQ. Looking forward to what we can accomplish together, Rangers. 
Good. Look at that, Lucia. Intelligence maxed, coordination maxed. She's gonna be fast on the battlefield. Uh, I don't know if survival is any good. I mean, we could get weird signs up first. And then maybe we'll get her one of the other skills, such as weapon modding, which currently is pretty much in the dirt. Ramos has enough to do with lockpicking and explosives as it stands. All right, in the meantime, Murphy continues with coordination. I need more AP on this guy. I like sneaky stuff, so that's going to work as well. And we're good. As always, the worship team could use more guitars. Auditions this Sunday. Good, so what's our next uh, quest? We got the Cinema Verite and we got Wolfie's Hunt. And I think Wolfie's Hunt is the first thing that we want to do. Uh, which... Um, we need to find that Sint. In terms of reputation... Refugees... Still like us. Monster Army likes us. 100 families likes us a lot. But I ain't seen a real impact yet in any of uh, the reputations. Might take a little bit more time. Good, let's find that robot. It's going to be our next big uh, task. Breaker one nine, this here's dead red calling the November Cowboys. You reading me out there, Caballeros? You all recovered from that big old Colorado welcome the Dorseys gave you? We read you. Who's this? Uh, ain't you nosy? Switch over to twenty. Good. We're doing that. Sorry about the clowning. Have to keep a low profile these days. This is your old pal Angie, otherwise known as Ranger Colonel Angela Death. Hmm. Angela Death. Uh, she was the one that we heard about. Uh, the old Ranger. Ah, somebody remembers me. What do you know? Figured my name would be stricken from the record after me and my crew pulled our vanishing act. Wasn't our intent when command sent us out here to reconnoiter. But well, things took an unexpected turn. Uh, Ranger Command has been wondering what happened to you. <sighs> I'll bet. We came out here for the same reason as you. Because Command was hoping they could make an alliance with the Patriarch and get some uh, foreign aid. Okay. Trouble was, the more we snooped around, the more we realized that good old Pappy Buchanan was a bloody-handed dictator that the Rangers shouldn't have nothing to do with. Okay. Unfortunately, Command didn't want to hear it. Told us they were going to make the deal anyway. Too desperate to be particular. We took a vote, the squad and me. Okay. And decided that just wasn't the Ranger way. Instead, we made a pact to take Buchanan down and help Colorado become the home of freedom that Arizona could have been if the Rangers hadn't lost the Citadel to Matthias. Well, that is not great because that means we might need to fight them. Why are you telling us this? We want you on our side, but not without seeing for yourself that Buchanan's a conniving shitbag. That's why I was called. There's a man you should talk to, locked up in an old bunker in Broadmoor Heights and guarded by Mercs. So you may have to do a little shoot to get to him. But when you do, ask him about his beefs with the Patriarch. It'll open your eyes. All right. Cordite, a warlord of the Eastern Plains, and 
one goddamn tough son of a bitch. As to how you find him, I'm a little shaky on the details, but I'm told there's a hidden hatch on some monument at Buchanan Park in Broadmoor Heights. And listen, when you do find him, bust him out of there and do what you can to keep him alive. He could help you with liberty later. Also, if you need more firepower, he's got a shotgun for a left arm. Okay. Does it sound like the Patriarch would approve uh, any of this? I don't reckon he would, no. But then he wouldn't approve of you talking to me either. We'll check it out when we're done what we're doing now. Dead red over and out. Okay, so... Lords of War. Let's see, level 11 quest. Uh, potentially something that we could do next, but let's stick with uh, what we have lined up for us now. So we heard, if I recall correctly, that something was going on in and around uh, the museum here. And we're getting those static noises. It's a bit creepy. More of these noises. Okay, more of that radio stuff. Hmm. Alright, listen, I do have a bit of a hunch here. I might be completely and utterly wrong, but we're going to find it out. These guys do have weapons. Why would someone put weapons on these guys? Okay, so here's the deal. If this is really going to be um, the hiding spot, then I assume what we're going to find very soon is uh, that I don't want to waste alcohol for it, that any of those four groups here could be the hiding spot of that of that uh, thing. Uh, let's just uh, say, you know what, they do have health even. Leave them. They don't even have I knew it. <laughs> I was right. Okay, maybe we can negotiate. Okay, uh, so much for not being able to negotiate. What? Are you kidding me? Murphy just goes down. Excuse me. Oh wow. See, that's why I hate just being ambushed. Alright, Lucia here. Let's get you up. I 
think we can heal ourselves we just need to get um, some AOE damage going Alright, Quan. Heal Central. And we're putting this out here. Nice little decoy. Central rallies everyone. Lucia gets out of the way. Murphy moves back and uh, starts to heal himself as well. That's my man, multi kill. 6% crit chance. Love it. Get this guy down. And if not, he's just stunned. Oh, it's good enough for me. Central gets back into cover. Okay, cool. Take you over for a few rounds. Thank you. And Quan might need to heal himself. Okay, we're stabilizing. I like what I'm seeing. Ramos suppresses everyone. would it take to reload four okay well we're taking two over so next round is reload and uh, hit Guy with Ramos. Okay, this guy here. Uh, that might be. That might be their boss. The October 11 uh, guy. Ramos moves up and heals. Back with the dead. Gets you uh, or gets him to full health. Unfortunately, we could have had uh, a grenade toss for three.
Buffy sprints up. And we need multi-damage. Murphy delivers exactly that. Hogwite heals up. And then begins to move up. Kill one. Fifty fifty. Nice hit. Central just deletes uh, this guy. Continues to multi kill. One cripples his arms, which is good. And another kill. Fantastic. Good. We're taking these AP over. And so far, killed a lot of them. So, that is a level 5 uh, fight. I bet you we would have yet, to get, uh, yet again get downed. Specific specifically, they are uh, beginning to jump on us. Oh, Hogbite. Good job. I don't know. We're going to make sure that this guy doesn't do anything. We're just going to stun him. Doesn't matter that it's not uh, the most damage. Central moves up, reloads, and we're taking that over to next round. Yeah, well, we need to reload first. Makes sense. This guy seems to be difficult to be hit.
Oh, we're blind. Okay. Well, that uh, makes a whole lot of sense. And this guy has like 500 hit points. Taking high ground here. Quan takes a couple of shots. Yeah, and next turn we're going to get him down. You know what? Uh, what uh, we could do is, I think Murphy does have marking as a skill, and I need to take a look at my little one in a second because someone is having an absolute tantrum. Good, we got the hat. A lot of junk. Repairable items. Okay, not surprising. What is surprising though is how hard the fight was. I was not expecting that. All right, let me take care of my little one and I'll be back. All right, so back. We uh, are done with that encounter. And I would like to upgrade strength for Hogbite so that he can wear new armor. Good. Skills. Armor modding. Certainly good. Animal Whisperer. Not bad either. Uh, let's keep the skills at a similar level. So we're gonna do armor modding. That is a great trait, tender loving care. Everybody gets eight armor. Good, but now that Hogbite does have more armor, let's see. Then we have something that requires five strengths. Yes, we did. And that shall be modded. He definitely needs uh, that quick uh, quickness for that quickness so that would um, crude looking what does that do initiative no that's not what we want no that's still not what we want hmm Exo knee. That's a little bit. Uh, that is a little bit of speed, but the personal drive. That'll make it a lot of uh, speed. So that's definitely what we would need. Hmm. Sucks. He's a bit slower now. I think we're going to get a proper module installed anytime soon. We'll give uh, the legs to someone else. Okay, never mind. Good. So we got this one here figured out. Let's trade in the quest and see what else we're going to do afterwards. That was a much harder fight than I anticipated. 
I know I already said that a couple of times, but still. Um, one of the things in this game that I haven't fully appreciated yet is just how strong some of the fights are. I remember those clones that uh, were responsible for a second death. That was completely un... Uh, prompted we moved into uh, their lair and I think three people died within the first round super hard to recover from uh, such a uh, difficult setup you don't have to yell Charlie oh. Fortune sounds great, but could you please stop yelling? I mean, haha! I knew you'd be up for this. Charlie knows you visited the bazaar, and you know how important it is to trade in Colorado. And more importantly, how wealthy it is. Problem is, the monster army holding it is weak. Without your help, they'd already be gone. But sooner or later, Someone is gonna wipe them out. So why not make it a cartel stronghold? With your help, it'll be easy. And you'll be well compensated for your contribution. Why would you work, uh, want to work with us after what happened in Little Vegas? Well, since Mr. Brigo is gone, Charlie has found himself bereft of gainful employment. But when opportunity comes knocking, who does Charlie know who's efficient? handle themselves and you help me with this and there'll be no hard feelings about the nightclub business red hats it's simple economics why would we trust you why wouldn't you i dealt straight with you so far right didn't i tell you the truth about me tavish don't i always tell you the truth come on red hats it's me what does well compensated mean your old buddy charlie won't sell you short we just need a little assistance and you'll be paid hand i a very hostile takeover. And the bazaar will be out. Oh, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. He wants to take over that bazaar. The cartel goons asked us to meet in their hideout. Old car dealership knows of the bizar uh, bazaar. Yeah, that's not going to happen, Charlie. But we're going to F you up for that one. Not going to help him. Hola, Got some business for you. La Perla, a woman stands like a queen amongst the gang of hard men. She gives you a sleepy, dangerous smile. Peace, strangers. We all know both sides are armed and lethal, so why don't we just skip the posturing and get to business, huh? A girl I own ran away recently, and it's Moving harder than expected to track her down. On the other hand, you should never suspect. <laughs> Hell, with your reputation for rescuing little lost lambs, she might even seek you out. So, what you say? Hmm? Want to find her for us? A girl you own? Are you slavers? <laughs> that bothers you? You find it unethical? You kill crazy corpse-robbing, tyrant-funded gun jockeys are offended at how I make my living? Sorry, compadres. This is the end times. Nothing but us devils left. I'm La Perla, are my boys. What's in it for us? Uh, we shouldn't be condoning something like this. Not unless it's a really good deal. Know the sealed rooms in your base? Bet you're curious what's inside. Bueno, I'll tell you for free. It's old world tech. The kind people waged wars for. You'll get the second call. The one that gets you into the room with the even better goodies. When you bring me my lost little lamb. How do you know about these sealed rooms? Grand, brave, don't worry. No hard feelings about you 
taking it over. What's the girl's name? Hallie, no. I think. Anyway, her new owner will rename her. Early twenties, blonde, shaped, <coughs> like a princess. You'll know her when you see her. I promise you. She'll make your little hearts go pitter pat. You'll get the second call. The one that gets you into the room with the even better goodies. All right, we're going to look into it. Whether or not we're handing it over is a different story. Uh, Lords of War and Slaver's Bounty find the escaped slaves. Haley, well, that is a bit too much for us at the moment. We're just working on the quests um, as we go. For starters, let's work with this guy here. Colorado Springs yet? Here's the hat. We want no the bounty. Miss, no fuss. Now, uh, one more thing. I was kind of afraid you'd be as pussy as the AZ Rangers, but it looks like you're serious. So I've got another proposal for you. We need a base of operations for our synth hunt, and it looks like you've got plenty of space. What do you say? Can we set up shop here? You don't seem to like Rangers much. You sure you want to hang around? The Ranger squad I ran with an AZ was a chicken outfit. Failed to utilize me properly. Paid the price for it. But you did okay here. Fine, you can Great. stay. We'll find a corner and keep out of the way. And just to make the deal sweeter, how do you like to pick up a few more bounties? What other bounties? Like I told you, since communicate with each other long distance. That means when I hack October 11th's head, Unfortunately, we're still on the trail of a pack of eastbound synths right now, so we can't stop and hunt for these. But it's got to be done, so I'll pay you to do it. Cash for each head. You want the job? Give us the location. Great. Now, let me just crack this egg. Wolfie takes the head, expertly opens it, then wires it to a portable computer in his backpack and begins to poke and prod. After a few minutes, he nods, turns the screen towards you, shows map dotted with flickering See lights. That light in the center? That's our current location. Actually, October 11's head. Those other lights around the middle one? Those are the other synths. Hmm. A lot of inner. There's. Maybe it's coming from some kind of signals imprecise. Bounce great. The sooner you end them, the sooner you get paid. Okay. Well, where are the other? Where are the other um, sins? Good. So the cinema we wanted to do next. Very hostile takeover. We can look into that soon-ish. And then the primary mission of the Patriarch Sun yeah. comes up as well. Pay attention this time. One close to Denver. Hmm. A lot of interference. Maybe near a radio tower. Maybe two. Lots Good. Of other, there's some wobble in the location signal, which means it's bouncing off the mountains from the foothills. That flickering means there's interference, so it's probably underground. Maybe it's coming from some kind of bunker or mine, or maybe a nuclear silo inside a dormant so, volcano. So, real close to Denver, a little bit further away from down. Denver, Signals and then Aspen. Precise, bouncing around, maybe in the mountains. And then one right. near Aspen in the mountains. The more time you take, get to it. Mm, Sato is my hero. Never eaten this well in my life. Please, Miss Hackett. There's no reason to get so. Wow, bad. even more. The hell they're in? My people didn't start that fight. One of your rangers started it, and now you're telling me we gotta be the ones to give up our. I'm just saying. Oh, Team November. I'm glad you're here. There was an altercation in the back. Nothing serious. No one was hurt. Some harsh words and a shove. Sergeant Gratzky's already put the recruit on latrine duty. A fair punishment. Yeah, well, 
This isn't the first time your recruits have had harsh words for us rangers. You need to get your... Gradsky's recruitment efforts have gone well, and HQ is filling up. More new rangers every day, which is great for our mission. But it also means we're running out of beds in the barracks. Rangers are having to sleep in shifts. This is leading to friction with Miss Hackett's people, who, as you know, were there first. Some of the new rangers don't understand this, and they think of them as, well, freeloaders. Usually, it's just snide comments. But today, one of yours started shouting that we should be thrown out of our home before trying to pull Davy off his cuff. Which is completely unacceptable behavior. Unfortunately, the problem is not going to go away if we ignore it. We need a solution before things explode. Any suggestions? Well, the warden here suggested we move into the brig. I suggested she shove that idea up her ass and leave us be. We were here first. We don't take up much space, and you said the barracks were ours when you first showed up. But things have changed since then, and they're not going to change back. If we're going to live side by side, we both have to be flexible. Shoot. When we make a deal, we stick to it. You can stay where you are, Rangers. Uh, problem with that will be difficult. We won't, uh, won't uh, go back on our deal, but it uh, just adjustments have been made before someone gets killed. There's room in the brick. Move in here. Excellent idea. What? You know, we always try to do things by Colorado, uh, right? By Colorado refugees, the solution isn't perfect. But uh, this is what we guaranteed your uh, people's safety and shelter. <sighs> I guess you're right. I'll try to sell it to my people. They're not going to like this. Oh, fantastic. So many uh, people, of course, conflicts are going to stir up. Hey, Rangers. Good to be here. Uh, don't mind the mess. We're still settling in. Well, Wrench, now we don't really need more personnel, but it wouldn't hurt to have an extra set of hands. If you find... Appreciate it. We've had to... In all honesty, though, this... Of course. Let's see if we can find what you want. Fantastic. By the way, we did have... Oh, nice. Monaco, Perception plus two and Barter plus one. Well, it's better than survival, isn't it? More barter means things are better. Well, maybe not barter on him. Maybe we're putting it rather on you. Dang it. But that would give up Kiz's ass. And that's more important than barter at the moment. Perception plus two is great. Who does have a good perception? Awareness. Oh, okay. Uh, but that would give uh, up critical st uh, strike. Hmm. Don't like that. Hmm. In the meantime, upgrade explosives and what kind of perk do we want? Targets directly hit by rockets or grenades are automatic critical hits. Well, that's not bad. I like the resistance as well. That's good. Hmm. Radius of uh, grenades and others are increased by 40%. That is fantastic. What else? You no longer set of landmines when stepping on them? Nope. Fire resistance. I think we're going to take that uh, critical hit. The other option is to just increase con and therefore more hit points. Not sure if this is going to do a lot.
But this here certainly will be good. Direct hits with grenades. That's not bad. Whilst we're at it, um, here you go. Got your little grenade back. So my biggest problem at the moment with his skills is uh, Begun's just needs one more push to nine. Um, we got brawling, we got kisses, we got hardass, we got automatic weapons, we got explosives, and we got mechanics. And explosives are here, mechanics are here, so getting mechanics further up certainly could help. I guess we need to do that, or could do that. Small arms, we don't have that yet. And most of the other stuff is on central, and we're nowhere near maximizing that. Okay. Good. Let's test the code uh, that they've been given us. I like that idea. And I think we need to heal. What do you need, Rangers? I'll do what I can. Have a seat. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, we had a couple of wounds. We should be good now. Nine zero zero nine zero nine three five oh oh. Cool. Nerd stuff plus one. And very nice armor. That requires six strength. Look at that. Uh, okay. How do we get into those other rooms? Uh, definitely rooms down here. It doesn't look like this room leads into it, so there must be some other way in there. What we do need to do is get our strength further up to level 6. Yep. Alright. Look. Let's just explore what else we've built up so far. Because I haven't been here for a while. Still don't have that toaster repair thing. Even got a disco board. <laughs> Clown statue. Yeah, we don't want to do any uh, changes on our wardrobe. Fran is still sitting in. Yeah, we do have. And Mama Cotta is sitting here. At least I've got good company here now. I'll take a refuge for an Ava over a ranger of any day. People skills of someone such as yourself. Sorry. Oh, hey, hi again. What's, uh. Work later, dudes. And, uh. Don't forget to think about getting this door open. Yeah, still not sure if we want to let him out. 
Okay, well, it looks generally good and well kept. Is there anything else hey, up here? Got a delivery for you. Been seeing a chicken around here. I was gonna have it for dinner, then I saw it had now. What can I help you with? Foreign deliveries. Joe came by with the supplies you asked for. Should help us get on our feet. I'll be here. Okay, cool. So we got ourselves level five chest armor for four strength. Very good. Level 15 chest armor. Couple of legs with extra speed. Everybody seems to have that extra speed, so we're good. And a few level 4 helmets, but nothing out of the ordinary. Good. Do we need the nerd stuff? That's a good question. Or do we rather need first aid? So, say, if we gave him nerd stuff, he would be at 7. That might make a difference. First aid isn't bad either. Okay, cool. So, what are we going to do in the next episode is the good question. I think we're going to find that monster army bunker. And uh, once we go back, we're doing the very hostile takeover. Seems like we do have a good start. All right, I think a great opportunity now to uh, to uh, call it quits. We had a good run. Uh, we have a couple more leads, and clearly we need to get outside of the city for now. There isn't much more we can we can currently do. We got a nice little base uh, set up for us, so good operations here. And let's see how well we're going to do going forward. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy uh, the uh, Wasteland uh, 3 playthrough, uh, then consider uh, scrubbing that like button, because um, that will help to uh, let the uh, base shine a little bit brighter. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.